The second line goes up. Pirate Law draws the wide. That goes up. Ginger Jam forward for Brent Littlejohn. And we're ready to go. The seventh, the 603 metre event. Bunny Rock. Set ready. And racing, getting out nicely. There was Jets and Flame. Bit of early speed with that. Nothing really. Ginger Jam goes to the rail. That's followed back there by Corborn Penny. Further back we go to Ghost Rider. Right off the track there was Ostap Chuk. That's followed down to the inside El Pinador. Then we go Pirate Law. And last of all there is Thrilling Tremor. Down the back they go. And your favourite Jets and Flame doing it OK. Good run coming behind Ginger Jam. Trying to kick into the race. Further back there is Ghost Rider. That's followed a couple there now by Corborn Penny. El Pinador a length or two. Back we go to Pirate Law further back two is off that chuck up they come fave all the way jets and flame gets you in ginger jam then we go to ghost rider followed back there by el pinador then we've got pirate law corborn penny has been followed to further back still towards the tail of the field off that chuck and thrilling tremor didn't yell jets and flame off gone catch me if you can there was nothing amongst them that could to three six and seven 35 and 27 the one running fourth for 35 and 27 the 603 meter trip and has done it nicely, really, hasn't it? Found the lead and just kept on running today. The Greyhound by Magambo, Delta Bellone, trained and bred by Gordon Wilson. Six was second, a ginger jam for Brent Littlejohn. Then we go the way of the seven, Ghost Rider. And that's uh, the Greyhound from Shirley Ross's kennels. Five lengths by two and a quarter lengths. The official margins, 35 and 27. Three, six, seven and one. Splits go up, 883, 19 and 87. And then a 15 and 40 to the post. So just a bit of early trouble there, wasn't there? One wanted to run out, caught the five in the mix up there. I think it was the four got pushed out wide. But in the meantime, the three did what it had to do. Jets and Flame jump. And uh, uh, once she found the lead, she's really one untested. She doesn't normally. Well, box and set first to pick six. Favourite stepping off the inside. This Greyhound race through to open company in uh, 15 starts. Go to Vegas, boss. Racing. Sees the buddy first as Rota Vegas boss. A bit of speed along with that. There we go to Lock and Var. Blaze the outside there is Real Vane. Followed a length or two back there by Lord Will. Round the, the inside of Lord Will is Charlie's Funds. Back in transit there now. Lafayette Cosmic Pearl on the corner. They're starting to come. Rota Vegas boss. Lock and Var. Blaze the boss. Rota Vegas boss. Real Vane. Then we go to Lock and Var. Blaze. That's been followed back there by Charlie's Funds. Out wider there was Lord Will. Then we go back to Lafayette. And last of all was Cosmic Pearl. Well, the boss, he's in town too, isn't he? Over the weekend, the boss, and this is Rota Vegas boss uh, doing the job here and uh, doing it nicely to beat the seven. Real Vane and the two and the three, 18 and 44. So he's clipped along. And he's been uh, just gone through the grade so well, hasn't he, for Scotty Payne? I don't see much of Scotty at the track these days. Uh, the Ippets, uh, this dog, knock on Oris, uh, Rota Vegas girl off the boxes. Two starts in class five two victories. First split, four and 56. 13 and 88 uh, was the run to the post here in an 18 and 44. Quickest was 18.50 for him last week. And we're going to get off uh, the inside. He's a big, powerful brute, isn't he? Uh, jumps and just holds that line there. You're not going to get that lure. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Real Vane had come across, had a look. Lock and Van Blaise Schofield's two runners. But this young fella, he's only, what is he, one, uh, uh, 12, Second line forward, and we're ready to go. The ninth, the realfishing.com. Bunny rolling, set, ready. Racing, Alamein Gus gets out of right, bit of early speed up wide the track here. Jelly Jim cuts, uh, cuts and finds the lead here, tucked in behind his pats all round it up there too. We go to Lardo, back in about fourth posse there is Blue Bloomers, pretty handy back there now to Alamein Gus, Rama Reason, and last of all, yes, no, maybe spots a lot. Off the top, a little Jelly Jim kicking, here comes the run here now, a Blue Bloomers starting to unwind out wider, there we go to Rama Reason, might have the last look uh, further back in transit there now is uh, Alamein Gus and yes, no, maybe, up they come and and Rama Reason gets them again. Blue Bloomers out wide the track here. Jelly Jam, Alamein Gus. That's been followed back there by Yes, No, Maybe. Gap in the field uh, to the two at the tail. Pats all round. And uh, the other one that was back there was Lato, who did me that uh, uh, early trouble off the top. But uh, Rama Reason charged late and gets the prize. Uh, here, seven, six, and the eight, 30 and 91. Uh, the winner's time. And uh, the... Yeah, they are swinging foam. You can see the sevens picks them up late and puts them away. Did the same here the other night. 
and got the prize in a 30 and 90, 30 and 91 today. Run in 15.06 so there. And no other splits posted there as yet. Seven, six, eight, and one. Here they are from the hop. And you can see the early speed going the way here of Jelly Gem cuts across them. 475, 1585, those first two splits. And a big run from Ram Reason parked out wide all the way. And very, very wide going. So second line up here. And we're all but set to go. Really clever off the two. Set ready. And racing really clear, but just bounce out and said, where am I in the early rush? Uh, early speed going the way here of Blitzing Mayhem finds the lead. The inside there is thrilling. Georgia really clever starts to work the outside. Multicam lad zipping will two or three back. We go to found Roman at the tail of the field. Big time dash of blue desire. Off down the back they go. The one they've got to catch is Blitzing Mayhem. Really clever looks a little lost, just doesn't want to run. It's inside there is uh, thrilling George around the outside of runners. There we go to Multicam lad, but up they come. Blitzing Mayhem will get home. Thrilling George, then we go to Really Clever, needed a compass. That's followed back there by Zipping Will, multi-cab lad, found Roman. And at the tail of the field there, big time dash and blue desire. Number six, Blitzing Mayhem for Stephen Clark. Will beat the one and the two uh, here. And uh, the time, good one, 30 and 35. Six, one, two and seven. Uh, running 14 and 90. And you just, just see that uh, really clever. It looked absolutely lost. Didn't know where it was. Might have just come off one or two there. Just eh, never, ever looked a winning chance from the time I saw it leave the box. It just missed it a bit slow. Put its head up and said, where the hell am I? Down the back, it looked as though it was going to go. Then it didn't. Uh, there, yeah, four and a half by two and three quarter lengths. Now it's had a bit of a look. Let's hope there's a bit of improvement there for the... Uh, two and really clever, but hey, honours the winner here. The uh, green of a blitzing mayhem by Vapor Will from Nonna's Girl Steve Clark. Uh, part so, last couple go forward, and we're ready to go. The 12th of the day, bunny rolling forward, set and ready. And a racing car. Nushka away a right early speed going the way here of Sassy Road. And out we go to What's Up G might take them to the bend. It does. What's Up G, Sassy Road. The rest in a race their own. Headed by Carm Nushka. Corsant round the outside of them. Stay young. Check the mail. Down the back they go. And by G. This has opened them up big time. What's Up G. All the rest of them are saying, what the hell is up? All right. The gap in the field. There we go to Sassy Road. Trying to kick into the races. Carm Nushka. But they swing for home. And What's Up G, Sassy Road trying hard. But What's Up G all the way gets so nicely from Sassy Road, Croissant Late. Then we go Carm Nushka. That's followed back there by Check the Bale and Stay Young will be the last one home. Bounced off the seven and uh, raced away to do the job uh, to beat the three in Sassy Road. And the two Croissant uh, got to the lane all right. 30 and 72 was the winner's time. 7-3-2. And we'll get that fourth one for you in a moment or two. But yeah, broke him in half, didn't in the early rush. Run in 15 and 26. 7-3-2 uh, and 1. Uh, here and uh, the uh, time 30 and 72. Sassy Road was making up ground, but never really looked as though it was going to get over the top one and a half by six and a quarter lengths. They certainly had the race themselves basically all the way from the hop. Three gets out nicely, the seven does run also. Splits go up 470, 15, 46. That run in 15 and 26 crossed them into the first bend, and away it went. What's up, Jeeb? Overflow from Heatherly Rose. Lisa Hearn for herself and Craig Rendell beating the three. Sassy Road, the Schofield Kennels and two Croissant. Nice run. Swip and you're lucky off the outside. So bunny rolling. Race number 30. Getting around there. Set and ready. Just about there racing. Rota Vegas Jr. goes ping straight to the lead. Girly leg there with us is swept out on the inside. There we go to Rock and Rod in between runners there now is he's a Carlos. Bit of trouble in behind Taylor Rose is followed further back there now by Beau Ravage around the outside of runners there. This is swept I'm a spice. But up they come and out by to here. Rota Vegas Jr. the inside Rock and Rod. Rota Vegas Jr. Rock and Rod Taylor Rose Beau Ravage in a rough affair. Then we go back to your lucky followed back there by I'm a spice. He's a Carlos and last of all was this is swept. Oh, Rota Vegas Jr. Off gone, 18 and 63. Had to work a bit. Uh, this is Swip gave a bit of cheek. There's a bit of trouble off the top. That's um, five, the two, the one, and the three, 18 63, running run 40 no four. And that first split did not up there as yet. 
That you can see a bit of trouble the four was it uh, just putting the brakes on he's a careless and that got on the drift and causes a bit of a problem but uh, I think they, they were going to get to the five see that left the box is good didn't it uh, there uh, once again Rota Vegas June that start 12 win six 50 percent winning record there in the letter flying two got able right rock and rod for Pete Lowe and that was running for the club wasn't it in pick six today uh, there then we go back to the one and the three from the hop see that early speed the five this is swift what happened going into this first bend leading them round Rota Vegas June Junior. And then uh, you know, the three, the one might have come out, caught the three, which in turn caught the four, the seven, the six. It was a bit of a uh, an old mix-up there, wasn't there? But in the meantime, the five had slipped them, and that was Rota Vegas Junior at 190 and one dollar 